In this video, I will be demonstrating how to do a bloom technique using Arteza paints coming up. Hello, it's Susan King, and if this is your first visit to my channel, thanks for stopping by and welcome. This YouTube channel is mostly about acrylic pouring. And today we are doing a bloom technique using only a Arteza paints. Let's go! This is the box of 14 and it's the pouch paints. This is what they look like. <clears throat> they are 120 milliliters. There's 14 in there. I'm using black and white from there. And I'm using um, five, five, no, three of these colors. Yep, three of these colors. The 60, box of 60 um, colors, and they are <coughs> 22 milliliters. So, um, I'm going to move them over there. Colors are really nice. Arteza um, paints. They're high pigmented. I really like them. Enjoy using them. So I've got um, emerald green and oops, phthalo blue and pearl sapphire blue. And these are the two I'm using for the cell activator. <clears throat> this is titanium white. And this is Mars Black. And they both work good for a cell activator. My recipe will be in the description below the video. I already have the paints mixed up. Um, I'm just going to... Oh, the canvas I'm using is a 5x5 five five can canvas previously used. I'm just going over top of it. And I'm using my spinner again today. Okay, I will move the camera so you can see. Adding the pillow paint. Okay, just pouring some on the canvas. Very slowly. Try to anyway. I guess the slower you pour it on the canvas, the less air bubbles you get, air pockets you get. Uh, just a tiny bit more maybe. Now, I've got two cell activators. I got white and I got black. I'm going to put the white on last and blow. I'm going to add the black cell activator part way through between the other colors. I just want to experiment and see how that looks, how that turns out. I'm going to start with the phthalo blue. Then I'm going to use the emerald green. I'm 
I forgot to check for air bubbles, but I will in one second. Oops. And I don't see any, oh, possibly one right here. So I better hurry it up a bit. Okay, so now I'm going to use the black cell activator here. And then the pearl blue, pearl Now the white cell activator. Well, okay, first I'm going to move the camera so you can see the blowing part of it. Okay, adding the white. That's good. That's good, good, good. I got a lot of cells, a lot of cells there, so I am going to bring you down. <clears throat> It is, usually you wait until the center comes back up and it's done. So now I will start spinning. Tilting it a little bit over.
and all the sides are covered. Just trying to figure out how I like it. I think it looks good like that. I like it like this. Okay, I will bring this up to show you a close-up. If I can get it off the table. <laughs> it's really sticky. This is probably... There we go. Tape's too strong. But... I have a question of the day. What colors would you have picked for this bloom? I think it's too dark, but I still love it. Leave me a comment below my video. I'd like to hear what you think. I will let this dry, and I always show you at the end the dried results. So stay tuned. Hello, I came back with the dried results. It dried really nice. It's a little shiny glossy, nice and smooth, everything dried well, so by me putting the black, a black cell activator and then another color and then the white, it gives it a cool effect, it looks like there's some black and white in there. I don't know, I like it. I think it looks really nice. It's a little dark, but it's okay. So if you like this video, please sub and like, and check out these other videos of mine appearing on the screen. And have a wonderful day.